U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, a trailblazer and one of the longest serving politicians in America, has decided to step down from the House leadership role. Pelosi, who served two terms as the Speaker, said that she will remain in the Congress but will not seek any leadership role. Listen. In. This I will continue to do as a member of the House, speaking for the people of San Francisco, serving the great state of California, and defending our Constitution. And with great confidence in our caucus, I will not seek re-election to Democratic leadership in the next Congress. For me, the hours come for a new generation to lead the Democratic caucus that I so deeply respect. And I'm grateful that so many are ready and willing to shoulder this awesome responsibility. Pelosi made the announcement a day after the Republicans secured a slim majority in the chamber following last week's midterm elections. The outgoing U.S. House Speaker also received cheers from a fellow Democrats, with most of them saying that Pelosi will be remembered as the most impactful speaker in the history of the United States of America. To Nancy Pelosi, my dear, good, and close friend, thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for dedicating your life for public service. Thank you for teaching us so much. Thank you for inspiring us all. It's been the honor of a lifetime to work with you. I will always think of her as someone who um, uh, embodies the spirit of the Democratic Party, of trying to serve the people and maintain hopefulness and optimism about what America can be, at the same time that she's very tough-minded about making it happen politically and understanding that there will be vested special interests that are trying to stop you at every turn. Meanwhile, Hakeem Jeffries, a liberal congressman from New York, is the likely frontrunner to replace Pelosi as the leader of the Democratic Party in the U.S. House of Representatives. If elected, the 52-year-old Jeffries will be the first black and a non-white party leader in the Congress. The leadership elections are scheduled to take place on November 30th. And the U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has decided to step down from the House leadership role. Pelosi served two terms as the Speaker and she has clearly said that she will remain in the Congress but she will not seek any leadership role in the future. Pelosi made the announcement was made a day after the Republican secured a slim majority in the chamber. recognized for one minute. Indeed, American democracy is majestic, but it is fragile. Good afternoon, everyone. I had a, a was over 45 minute conversation with President Zelensky. What did he have to say about that? And where do you stand on that? Well, the House will be and for more on this, Spencer Kreshley, a Democratic political analyst, is joining us live from California. Welcome to the broadcast. Good now, to be here. my first question to you is that do you think that Pelosi's decision to not seek a leadership role could launch a domino effect in the upcoming internal party elections? Well, I'm expecting it's going to be relatively orderly, especially can, compared to what's been going on into the, in the Republican Party lately. Um, I don't think this is a surprise. Uh, it was expected that the Republicans would win a narrow majority in the House. And given uh, Speaker Pelosi's age, and given, I think, really the necessity to prepare the next generation of leaders and allow them to move forward, I think the timing of this is very good. And when you throw into the mix um, the recent horrendous attack on her husband, uh, as I say, I think the timing makes a lot of sense. And there is not the same kind of, you know, scorpions attacking each other uh, atmosphere in the Democratic Party currently. And so, I, as I say, I would expect the succession to be relatively uh, orderly. That doesn't mean there won't be competition, but I think uh, it'll be civilized. Right. Like you mentioned about the succession, how do you assess Hakeem Jeffries succeeding Pelosi? 
I think, you know, he's one of um, many strong candidates. There, there has been this new generation of leaders coming up through the Democratic Congress. Uh, we saw that also uh, in the recent midterm elections. One of the things that was very impressive, and I, and I, you know, I'm not just saying this as a Democratic Party booster. I'm, I'm often critical of the Democratic Party when I think they need it. Uh, but one of the impressive features of the recently concluded midterm elections, I think, was the strength of the candidates running uh, for the House, for the Senate, uh, for governor, and for other state-level races. It's good to see that there are so many genuinely impressive young and middle-aged leaders coming up. So I think we have some good choices. Right. I also want to seek your inputs on how Pelosi has said that she will remain in the House, but will not seek any leadership role in the future, which is quite unusual for a party leader. Uh, what is your take on this? Well, I expect that she'll want to finish her term. Um, it's hard to say how much longer she'll want to stay in Congress. She's certainly more than up to the job, as she's demonstrated. And uh, perhaps she sees this as a way of stepping back, but continuing to serve. Uh, I would say, you know, it's clear that public service is what drives her. The level of vitriol that's directed at her uh, from the right and has been for many years makes no sense whatsoever when you consider the length of the record of public service she has and how clear it is that she's motivated uh, by moral considerations and patriotic considerations. This is one of the things that disturbs me the most about our country right now. Thank you, Mr. Kretschley, for sharing your inputs on this. Thanks very much. My pleasure.